Hey, what's up, guys? Eskis here, and welcome to episode 5 of Skill into Glory. And uh, the first thing we do in this episode is actually changing something in our team. Because you can see right there, we had uh, Chanar Erkin as our left back. I decided to discard him because I thought he was actually going for a lot less coins than he was actually going for. Decided to buy him back for actually a little bit more. So I probably should have checked uh, the market before actually buying him or before quick selling him. I mean, because I think I managed to pick him up for 500 coins uh, whilst his lowest buy now was like 800. So I could have made some profit on him, I think. But um, yeah, anyway, we're going to go on what will be the first game of the episode. And uh, we come up against a strong uh, BPL side in the 4 triple two formation with uh, Roberto Firmino there. Strong midfielding, Kuyate, and also Abba Hanan as a pacey striker up front. And uh, we start things off in the ninth minute there. A good chance here from Giuliano after he played himself free. And a great save there from his goalkeeper as well. Then 23rd minute, the first chance for my opponents. Runs through here with Abba Hanan. I set a lot of pressure with my three defenders, which I probably shouldn't have done because Aruna Kone got completely free and makes it 1-0 in the 33rd minute again Aruna Kone on the ball makes it 2-0 you probably saw as well that I tried to like put one of my defenders on the goal line didn't work out and um, yeah all of a sudden we were down 2-0 which uh, wasn't really the greatest way to start off this episode because the form we've we've had recently is actually really really good but in this game it just went from bad to worse Half time we were 3-0 down and I just didn't really create much uh, chances wise which was a bit annoying. Uh, 61st minute though a really nice chance, a lovely back to that I think for Maurizio as well but Adriano couldn't finish. Some great saves from his goalkeeper. A few minutes later again Abel Hernandez going through, couldn't do anything with my defenders and he makes it 4-0. To pretty much make it game over like I still had some belief in myself uh, when I was 3-0 down because um, I've been 3-0 down before and actually end up winning a game on my main account but um, yeah I knew it wasn't gonna happen in this game couldn't really create more chances and uh, you can see right there as well even though we had a bunch of chances in the game I think more than my opponent I just couldn't find the target unfortunately so um, yeah we ended up losing our first game in this series which uh, I'm still kind of proud of because I've won I think seven games so far draw one and uh, actually lost one. It says that we've won uh, eight actually, but I actually played one against the uh, team of the week, which was like for the manager task, in case you're wondering. But uh, anyway, we're going to go into the next game and we come up against a uh, decent looking uh, Bundesliga side with actually Kingsley Coman and some other really pacey players in his team. So again, a really uh, tough team to come up against. But uh, we start things off 24th minute here with Karasma. I tried to reach out to one of the players, pick it up here with Tufan, play it around a little bit here to, uh, I think, our striker Abubakar gets a shot in and a great save there from his goalkeeper as well now from that corner we go with some nice skimmers from Bruma trying to beat the defender we get a header in here with one of my midfielders Yoku Sulu or something I'm not too sure how you pronounce it but um, again a good save from his keeper then my opponent gets himself a chance here too great save from the keeper so it was going uh, like a bit all over the place like my opponent had some chance in the first half and so did we and um, yeah, overall it was a really even game here a big chance as well with the Abubakar after some great great skill moves really amazing save there from his keeper then 66 minutes you can see right there he goes through a nice one two passing between Kimmich and Werner his striker and he ends up going for a shot from some distance with Kimmich a nice shot into the bottom corner making it 1-0 for him then a few minutes later from a corner we managed to get a cross in here after a rebound and we get a header in with Aziz with the goalkeeper still at a touch onto it but it still managed to go in and uh, we do make it 1-1 into this game we get ourselves back completely then 87th minute it is uh, Bruma here on the ball I was thinking should I pass it across I decided to do it and then I don't know what Bubakar tried to do I think he just went with one of those slide tackle shots but we completely failed and yeah I'm not really the greatest uh, person when it comes to like sweaty goals but and then in the 90th minute we got so much luck because he completely messed up when it comes to clearing the ball away it fell for uh, Bubakar's feet and he managed to slot it home into the bottom corner making it 2-1 and um, actually picking up the three points in this game. So um, yeah, sort of a sort of a game which I felt a 1-1 would have been more deserved. But uh, we end up getting it. So um, yeah, I was really, really happy with the three points. Then uh, we're going to go into the third game of the episode already. And uh, again, we come up against a decent looking side. This one, a Serie A team. Actually a really, really strong team. Now look at it with the uh, Mansukic and also some other uh, big players in, uh, in that team. And again, we start off quite early with a big chance with Adriano. I went with some LTRT dribbling. And I just did it too much. I just should have taken a shot, which I unfortunately didn't do. 
and um, yeah, kind of waste a, uh, wasted a big opportunity, I think. Then uh, 38th minute, he uh, ran down the wing here with Chao Mario. I was thinking he was going to go for a low cross, but he ended up going with a regular cross instead. And then it was Adair, who was, I think, between two defenders or something, who managed to uh, get ahead onto it and still made it 1-0 for my opponent. Then uh, 54th minute into the second half, Adriano going through. I maybe should have cut in here with the Burbis pin, went, uh, went for a near post finish instead, but the goalkeeper saved it. 62nd minute, uh, my opponent got himself a chance here as well. You can see a lot of stuff happening and all of a sudden we actually conceded a penalty and also picked up the second yellow card with our defender Marcelo and the reason for it was because when he actually put that cross in I tried to go for a slide tackle to block the cross off but unfortunately I ended up hitting uh, my opponent's player and therefore we gave away a penalty and also uh, picked up a red card and also gave away a goal so um, yeah it was a lot of stuff happening at once but yeah it wasn't really helping us and you can see right there as well when, uh, when we actually just got the ball with our defender made some changes because of the red card but I did it in such a stupid way because my opponent set so much pressure on me when I actually like went back into the game and all of a sudden he made it 3-0 so um, yeah I mean the games in this episode weren't really going that great for me. We did get a nice goal though with Bruma one of the substitutes to make it 3-1 but it ended up being not enough unfortunately for us because uh, we would end up losing 3-1. We created some chance in the game, I think like four big chances, but that was about it really. So uh, we end up losing another game. Still we did really, really well though, because you can see right there, we only need three more points and we've got four games remaining in order to uh, move on to the next division, which will be Division 8. So um, yeah, hopefully we are able to do that in the next episode. But anyway guys, that's going to be the end. Hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, then make sure to leave a like, it would be very much appreciated. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.